Maybe it won't be so bad. I'll just meet Tina in a quiet, calm atmosphere, and we'll talk things through like civilized people. Yeah! This is a great idea! Fight! 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 This is a terrible idea. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on here? I'll have no fighting on my watch! Oh, Gumbo Watterson! I might have known! Oh, thank you, Miss Simeon. Oh, I was gonna fight a T-Rex. Please, send me to detention. Well, I suppose I could. After my coffee break. But, Miss Simeon, Tina's gonna... Him? Coffee? Break? <laughs> but, Miss Simeon, you're my last hope. Please! <laughs> What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Use the bunny hop, son. Son, 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 son. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I wasn't gonna miss the big fight. Gumball! Time to deal with this like a man. Dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Sorry! removing your glasses when you're at the table? Uh, yes. <sighs> <gasps> what happened to you? I ran into a door. That's not true. He's being bullied. Seriously, I did run into a door. <laughs> Perfectly calm! I just need a word with Mr. Rex, honey pie. Come on. <gasps> Sit! You guys, make up! <sighs> Mr. Rex! Hi, Mr. Rex. We need to talk about your daughter. <laughs> so it's going to be like that, is it? Well, that's fine by me. Your dad is pretty scary. So's your mom. Uh, Tina, is it true that you're bullying me? What? Oh, Nigel! Oh, hello, Miss Simeon. Here's that cup of pig sweat you asked for. Mm, my favorite. Now, I've been meaning to talk to you about how very ugly you are. Oh, really? <laughs> I used to think that you were just regular ugly, but now that I'm up this close, I see that you're full-on mega gross. Makes me want to kiss you. Mwah. Mm, you taste like garbage quiche. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. I was distracted by your rancid breath. So long, sucker! Chimpanzee, you later. <laughs> oh, let's do those guys. He's an ordinary guy who was never good at anything until he found out he could jump! I've already lost your brother to jumping! I am not going to lose you! He had all the talent, but none of the discipline. I'm just a kid from Lower East Elmore. I don't know nothing about jumping. Then don't jump, kid. Just push the world away. Jump, coming soon to a playground near you. Rated PG-13. Would you guys quit it? You're throwing me off my game. Well, excuse us for trying to add some drama to your life. Psst. 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 Psst.
chicken wrote a check for a walk? You, uh, licked the bricks you didn't fix. Okay, I'll try and say this politely, but you're gonna need to read between the lines. Due to personal circumstances, I'm unable to commit sufficient resources to resolve this communication problem. Hey, show some understanding. He's doing his best to communicate. Mm -hmm. That just sounded like you said you were running from the butt police. I think we need to find out what he wants before he chokes on his tape. Too late. Okay, I'm gonna use the online translator. So, what language do you speak? Come on, at least make an effort to speak to him in a way he can understand. What language do you speak? That, please try and articulate this time. I'm gonna type that the way I heard it. Elmore's search says, do you need medical help? I'm tempted to say yes. Gumbo, you're not being very constructive. What country do you come from? Don't worry, I got this. What country do boombox heads come from? Gumbo! Uh, what my ignorant friend here is trying to say is, where do bi-speakered parallel epipedic electrical leisure appliances come from? Oh, you make it sound like a disease. Ah, Boomboxenberg. That's right, home, oh, where you have over 500 different words for disco. But only discovered fire in 1992. Mm. Oh, don't blame me, blame your cavemen. Ouch. Of course, why didn't we think of that? You can just write what you want to say. What the? <laughs> Dude, you need to type words, not cockroach noises. Hmm, there's no direct translation for this in English. But it will translate into French, which will translate into Spanish, which will translate into Japanese, which will translate into Swahili, then Chinese, Indonesian, Portuguese, Danish, and then back to English. Simple. The reign of the ape is no more? Don't tell. Ah, uh, he attached $20 to the note. How cheap does he think we are? No, you can't even remember what he doesn't want us to talk about. If money isn't enough to stop you revealing I don't have a diploma. I've dug a little dirt of my own. What if this were to go public? <sighs> Look, Principal Brown, first, that was a phase. And secondly, we felt ashamed so many times in life that I think we're now incapable of feeling it. As in, chemically. The doctor says we've run out of shameosterone. Let me show you. As you can see, the brain is composed of many sections dedicated to emotion. Here's anger. Here is sadness. This here? We just don't know. And finally, this is the shame gland. As you can see, it's pretty dried out. <sighs> Dude, could you put me back together, please? Sure. How's that? Jeg tror, der er en der sat helt forkert sammen. Ah, thanks. That's much better. Cumberland and Darwin Watterson, please report to the principal's office. Ah, uh, what does he want now? Kids, I think I'm losing my mind. Ah, <sighs> finally. Well, at least you realize it's a problem. I looked everywhere. I looked in the drawer. I looked under my desk, behind the bookshelf. Wait, what are we talking about here? My glasses. I can't find my glasses. Uh, you're wearing them? Oh, no, not these. My spare pair. I think they might be in this safe. You keep your spare glasses in a safe? I can't see them. Oh, no, no, no. They're right at the back. Just keep going further in. You're gonna lock us in the safe, aren't you? Uh, would you believe a no? Look, Principal Brown, this is ridiculous. If you keep wasting your time on us instead of doing your job, this place is gonna start falling apart. Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay, you really want to do something for us? Anything. Then you'll leave us alone? Of course. Then just take care of the school. Yes, he says, of course, that's it. Take care of the school and all my problems will be solved. Thank you, Watterson. All I have to do is blow this place up. Exactly. All I could find was these. Oh, well, that would explain the sound when he box. Wait, did he say blow up the school? 
We need to raise the alarm! Are you crazy? No one can know about this. There'll be complete panic. We just have to stop him before he blows up the school. Who's gonna blow up the school? <laughs> no, no, we were just saying how the wind blows up the guy ever shaving. Help me out here. Let's go. Rook, can I have the keys to the boiler room? I'm gonna blow up the school. Yeah, sure. Uh, you'd better run. All right, it's the little blue one. Sometimes it sticks, so you might need to give it a principal grab to the blow up the school. No, 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 no. It's not what he meant. It's, it's not what you... <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying to knock me on... If there's no school, then there's nothing to lose. Excuse me, Principal Brown. I... Take the children outside, Coach. I'm going to blow up the school. <laughs> Wait, blow up what? Okay, okay, enough violence. I'll take care of her. I'm sorry, Coach. What's that? I'm trying to pinch a nerve cluster, but it's buried pretty deep. Now, let me try something. Apparently, it works on cows. <laughs> I've got to blow this place up. Principal Brown is going to blow up the school. Mr. Small, we can explain. Hold on, kids. I need to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Halt in the name of love. Oh. Oh. Once this place is gone, my reputation will be safe. Save yourself, Lucy. Oh, oh sorry. I thought that was another drywall. Dude, things never go this right for us. Something terrible is going to happen, isn't it? Someone's gonna ruin my chance to get a good photo. I can feel it. But who would want to do that? You will pay for this humiliation, Gumball Watterson. Yes! Uh, paper goes in the recycling bin. Uh, recycle this! I don't know who'd want to ruin my photo, but that's the problem. If I can't think of anybody, it could be everybody. I'm scared too, aren't you? Terrified, but my face can't express it. Okay, I think we're safe. Watch out! There's some kind of hobgoblin freak right next to you! What? Where? I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Run! It's hideous! Ooh, what are they talking about? Where is it? Trust me, man. You're fine. Wait a minute. He thinks you're the hobgoblin. Sure. I'm the hobgoblin. The one they use in horror films to show something terrible is coming your way. Like that! <laughs> Quick, it's Tina! What's going on with the light? I don't know! Just keep running! <laughs> Where is she? Tina, you have to be more flexible than that if you want to join the team. Hmm, that was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. What's going on with the lights, though? Night, day, night, day, night, day. Ah. Well, I'm starting to think there's nothing to ruin my photo after all. <laughs> I really don't know what we were worried about. It's just a photo. <gasps> Here we go. This is it. Look at him. Come and get us. Oh, smiles. Hiding his fury. Yeah, he definitely won't get even because I whooped his butt earlier. He's gonna do something. What? What? <laughs> How do you defend yourself from the unknown? With a preemptive strike. Hi! <gasps> I am so sorry. We completely overreacted there. I just thought you were gonna stop Shh. me from... It's okay. I understand. It was an accident. Well, not really. I kind of went for it. Could you please flip over that bit of rubber next to your foot? Uh, sure. Why? Because I'm turning the other cheek. 
Dude, you're so nice, it's actually sickening. Well, now we know that no one is after us, and we're 20 minutes early for your photo. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Come on, Watterson! Where are you? Come on, fight me like a man! <laughs> I know, right? For the first time in my life, I'm actually early. Okay, let's do this. Right. And you're sure you're happy with your weird face because this is the last photo I'm taking of you. <gasps> Ready when you are. Okay, then. On three. One, two... Uh, Why are you kids not in gym class? We've got a sick note. Where is this sick note exactly? I think it's in there somewhere. How convenient. You don't look very sick to me, and you look at me in the eye when I'm talking to you. Uh, sure. Let me just take a step back. What the? What's going on in here? You don't seem to be getting any further away. Oh, there you go. Hi, mister. You can call me coach. Now get to gym class. <laughs> What's going on? I have no idea, but it's horrible! Code Red, I repeat, Code Red, this is not a drill! This body is exercising! Somebody do something! Right, dude, what do we do? I can feel myself getting healthier! Well, in circumstances like this, I think it's safe to say that now would be the right time to... Freak out! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Waterston, if your sweat reaches me, I'm gonna invite you to a pain party where the only guests are you, me, and my fists. It's not sweat. It's my organs crying. Come on, Waterston. If you can't manage a simple push-up, how are you ever gonna do a cartwheel? Why would I ever want to do a cartwheel? Because everything you learn in gym class could make a difference in your life one day. What possible use could I have for knowing how to do a cartwheel? Apart from physically replacing the wheel on the cart. Maybe the day you want to win gold in the 1986 Olympics. That's not a cartwheel. That's just a photo of you upside down. Yeah, well, that still doesn't prove it's useful. Oh, really? Jamie, you're running being chased by a pack of angry dogs, but oh no, you've dropped your pen. Now, do you let those dogs have that hard-earned pen, or do you cartwheel your way out of it like a boss? Statistically, that is quite unlikely. But in that highly illogical and incredibly specific situation, I guess you do have a point. But what about that stuff? Let me paint you a picture. You're being chased by another pack of angry dogs. You reach the ravine with only asymmetric bars allowing you to reach the other side. They want your pen. What do you do? Oh, I guess I just turn on my jetpack, fly over the ravine, land in my flying car, and drive to space. That's completely unrealistic. Jamie, come here and show Watterson how you would do it. Perfect, you remind me of me at your age. Except for the fact she has a neck. <laughs> Faster, that's not how you take gold at the 96 Olympics. Okay, so you just been to the mall, but suddenly in the car park you see a pack of angry dogs here. Yeah, yeah, why don't we just let Jamie show us how to do it? And that is how you win three gold medals in trampolining. Now show me what you got. Higher. 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 Angry Dogs 3, Watterson nil. <laughs> Lesson over. Maybe I should just try to forget about this. Reports of strange occurrences all around Elmore. At Food and Stuff, it's been nighttime all day. It's supposed to be noon! Meanwhile, residents were confused by unseasonal snow. It's supposed to be June! And one senior citizen seems to have inverted gravity. I'm supposed to be on the ground! Some things are not meant to be. Dogs shouldn't get on with cats, men shouldn't have ponytails, and your father is not meant to have a job! What are we gonna do? 
We have to stop him. Look, I'm sorry, but tearing apart the fabric of the universe is not a dismissible offense. Now please let me go. Don't you understand? You need to fire him. But he's doing okay. What if he delivers a pizza late? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I could fire him for that. Then he's not gonna deliver this one. <laughs> Spicy, my flavors will exhilarate you. Get them double quickly when I'm twisting the accelerator. Twisting the accelerator. Twisting the accelerator. We must be getting close. felt the same. But there's something deep inside of me that always wanted to be free. And now I think the time is right to show you what I mean. I want to sing. I want to dance. I want to touch the sky with my own two hands. If I sing to the world, it'll set me free. And let me be I wanna be dance, dance and sing. I'm gonna give What's it he my doing? I don't know, but it's pretty good. Now's our chance to assassinate. As I whisk you off to a wonderland. I'll hip hop and jive with my heart. Did Gumball see any of that? Stand the bump to the rock and the roll. I'll catch 
Maybe he'll notice the trapdoor. Up high like a bird, if you set me free, like a skylark on the wing, a rosebud in the spring, like a gangster in his bling, like fish bait from a sling, like a puppet with no string, like an English feudal king, like all those kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. Show yourself assassin and fight like a man! Let's try the special effects. Under the seat? Whoa, who is this guy? That's my dad. Rock on, dude! I wanna be free! our very own star, Mr. Robinson. Thank you, everybody. Encore. I love you. You put me where I am today. Thank you so much. I, 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 I. Oh, no. I think we squished Mr. Robinson. <clears throat> nah, he's okay. Let's go home. Yes! Santa sleigh! Ha <laughs> I'm totally gonna save Christmas. <gasps> Go! Uh, giddy up! Activate! Uh. So, you wanna come in for a cookie? Oh, no, 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 no. I I've been enough of a burden and a disappointment. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> Thank you for believing I was someone special. Uh, for a moment there, I almost thought that I could be Santa. Oh, oh. Ah! Stop! Freeze! Deactivate! Dad? Ho, 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 ho! Santa! That's right! How long have I been out? Is it still Christmas Eve? Yeah, but... Good! Then it's not too late. All I need is... My Santa! <laughs> Okay. How do you land this thing? First you! First you need to fasten your seatbelt! What the... How can I be better than Santa? Ask the magic sack for some walkie-talkies and I'll tell you how to land! I want some walkie-talkies! Oh man, it's really well wrapped! Ask it for scissors! I want some scissors! Are you kidding me? Give me that, son. I'll show you how a real man opens his present. Ow! Good job, chaps. Now, in front of you, there should be an altimeter, a gyroscope, and an anemometer. Okay, what are they for? I don't know. I never use them myself. But at least you're facing the right way. Now, just fly with your guts. What can you see? Something about your reindeer's butt. Right. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Then be off the bags with some parachutes and jump. We can't do that. Your sleigh will crash. What about Christmas? Your lives are more important than Christmas. Just jump. Request denied, sir. We're saving Christmas. Over. Oh dear. I love. 
love you, Dad. I love you, son. Sounds like they're coming in too hot. Follow me. Then I'm gonna make it. We're gonna crash. Not on Christmas, son. You have to believe. I can't see anything! Don't worry, guys! <laughs> They're gonna crash! <laughs> yes! No! It's okay! They're Christmas lights! <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Watterson, I've been looking for you. Santa? I've been meaning to talk to you about these. My letters? Every single one. You sent them to the South Pole. I live in the North Pole. I was just checking I had your address right when you uh, uh, ran me over. I'm so sorry! Oh, that's okay, Richard. After that landing, you're on the nice list forever. Awesome! Because you owe me $800 for the hospital bill. Hmm. Please don't tell me you're the one who arranged this fight. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. I know we haven't spoken in a long time, but I need your advice. Is it really wrong to create false evidence to frame some criminals who you know for sure are definitely Absolutely, without a single shadow of a doubt, guilty! Well, I don't care what you say, Dad! I'm doing it anyway! <laughs> Let's see you get away with this one, you little hooligan! And I know for sure that these two did the graffiti because they were idiotic enough to sign their names at the bottom of it! Are you sure no one else could have done it? Absolutely! Miss Simmy, wrongly accusing the boys is one thing, but openly framing them is another. One more offense and you are fired. And you still owe these boys an apology. It's fine, it's fine. I'll apologize when fish start to walk. If this really is the kind of person you are, then we seriously need to talk about our relationship as well. <laughs> I saw that coming. I glued everything to the floor. <laughs> I gotta be honest, Gumball. I'm not entirely comfortable committing a crime. Look, it's not a crime if you intend to get caught. Unless we actually do something bad, Simeon's gonna blow a fuse and lose her hairy boyfriend. Do you really want that on your conscience? Good, then give me a Lego. Now what am I supposed to do? Give yourself a Lego! Oh, of course. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> this is gonna be easier than I thought. I'll deface his car. Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Dude, why is every single window broken except for Brown? How about you do it yourself if you're such a hot shot? I caught them. 
I finally got them, which means I can do this. You're coming with me to the principal's office. With pleasure. Wait, we forgot to spray our names. What do you mean? <laughs> Duh, if we don't sign it, Principal Brown will think it's you again. Then you'll get fired and lose the love of your life. Now where would that leave us? Are you trying to say that you only did this to save my reputation, my job, and my relationship? Of course, what do you take us for, some kind of criminals? Well, yes. Oh, are you ready? Yes. Run that way. reminded me. Oh, then welcome to level three. The see-through sack of sweaty cheese! Ooh! <laughs> 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 Forgetting it? No! <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're your next level! The sounds of suffering! <laughs> the worst. Really? <sighs> okay, do it. <laughs> so? So, what? <gasps> She's forgotten! <laughs> You did what? I carried your suitcase up to your room. Oh, well, good for you, dear. Now bring it back down. My bus will be here any minute. Give me a kiss goodbye and put my bags on the bus. Mm. A little bit faster this time, please. Granny Jojo, Gumball's found his happy place. That's nice, fish kid. Now kiss me goodbye. Granny Jojo! I found my happy place. Yeah, whatever. Now give your Granny Jojo a kiss goodbye. Of course. Gumball, give me a hand with this bag. Okay. <laughs> in your face! <laughs> oh, I wish I could kick people like this in real life. Hey, nice costumes, guys. You have a spare one? Nah, sorry, Dad. I'm not sure you're ready for the responsibility. <sighs> I understand. Come on, Darwin. Let's go practice some killer moves. Okay, dude. You know what a true warrior needs for a good warm-up? Mittens and a scarf? No, Darwin, son. Inspiration. 
I'm so worried about them. Why? It's a great track. They're obsessed with those outfits, and the kids at school are making fun of them. You know how mean kids can be. Richard? <sighs> I know they're just costumes, but if people make fun of them, they'll never get girlfriends or a job. And in 20 years' time, they'll still be living here and wearing those ridiculous karate outfits. Combo. Yeah? I think we wasted our lives. Boys? Hi, Hi Mom. Mom! Check out Darwin's sweet scissor kick. When did you post this? We didn't. Some kids at school did. Boys, look at the title. Taekwon Dorks. I think they might be making fun of you. Nah, they just spelled Taekwondo wrong. Korean spelling is very complicated. There's loads of other fellow senseis on here. Look. <laughs> hey! <sighs> I need to tell you a story. Cool! Is it a fable about a great martial arts warrior? Not exactly. When your father was at school, he thought he was the Cottontail oh, Cavalier. Cavalier! <laughs> <laughs> Costume geek! Leave him alone! At least he's brave enough to be himself. He was lucky there was one girl who loved him for who he really was. What a sad story. Well, whatever happened to the cape? Well, I managed to get it off him and hide it. What? You mean the president didn't really need my cape? I'm sorry, honey. Uh, it's because of you I'm mortal! <laughs> you see, that's the kind of state you can get into when you refuse to grow up. Gumbo, I don't want to be a costumes geek. It's okay, Darwin. Mom, we'll stop wearing the outfits if it'll make you happy. Thank you, boys. I'm so proud of you. You'll see, it's for the best. Life's about abandoning Dream after dream Hopes and expectations Float away downstream It's time to kiss our childish ways goodbye Grow up, give mediocrity a try the games they have to stop no more I Not even a karate chop Face up to what maturity means And forget about a martial arts dreams <sighs> Well I think I'm cured. Me too. I almost think I could put it back on, you know, just one last time and I'd be fine. I reckon if I put mine back on, it would do nothing. <laughs> oh, what's the point of cleaning under the bed? It's like cleaning a dumpster. It's designed to be filthy. Because this room smells like dog burp. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's well, a glass of milk. <laughs> cheese, that, that's a glass of cheese. Stone. That's a glass of stone. Are you kidding me? That milk had to be at least 10 years old. Well, at least there's nothing alive under there. <laughs> Darwin the First. So that's where you were hiding. <gasps> Wait. I thought you said that Darwin the First left to live a happier life on a farm with other fishes. <laughs> you did. Uh, you did. Um, Look what I found! The game you made! Hang on, I'm not three anymore. You're not gonna distract me with, with the what? Dodge or dare, it's calling us. No! We swore we'd never play that game again! Just ignore the calls. to destroy that game. <gasps> it's gone! Wait! Don't throw the toys! You don't know what you're doing! Yeah. <laughs>
because you didn't write any instructions. And what you did write is spelt wrong. Dodds or Dar? Sounds like an alien choosing a baby name. Let's just pack it away. No! You can't stop! Once you start Dodger Dare! It has to be finished. Okay, so the rules are pretty simple. You roll the dice, then take a dare card. If you do the dare, then you move forward that many spaces. If you don't, then you have to take a dodge card and move half the spaces. Okay, and how do you win? You don't win, you survive. Okay, but how do you actually win? Oh, you have to roll an exact number to land on the last square. Dad, you're up. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever's gotta do this one. Hey, officer, please! I need to report a theft! Yes, finally! What did the thief look like? Well, he was wearing a monocle. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yes, he had a big furry mustache. Uh-huh, big furry mustache. Okay, any other distinguishing features? Yes, he was dressed as a yodeler. Aren't you gonna write that down? Just testing something. And what did that man steal? A kiss. <laughs> you actually did it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how it always starts, with the laughing and the dares, and then later, the horror and fear. I go. Hmm, order a prank pizza. Uh-huh, and what's the address? Uh, 420 Grove Street. Oh, and could you add some turkey gizzards? As well as the ice cream pig's foot and oysters? Yes, it's an old family recipe invented by my grandfather, old Joe Windy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could be there to see that pizza arrive. Okay, 420 Grove Street, here we go. Pizza guy. What are you talking about? I sell pizzas. Why would I buy one? Well, someone's gotta pay for this. I'm not paying for something I didn't order. What am I supposed to do with this now? Give it to me, I'll show ya! So that's three kids' meals, a salad, and 47 double cheeseburgers. 47? Richard! Relax. I asked for Swiss cheese. It's healthier. What? How? It's got holes in it. Let's make that one cheeseburger and some carrot sticks. What? If you don't feed me properly, how do you expect me to keep my six pack? You're what? You'll miss this when it's gone. That's 17 bucks, 15 cents. Uh... I'm sorry, the card has been declined. It says insufficient funds. I don't understand. There should be money on that card. Where's it all gone? Hmm, I don't want to point the finger, but... Dad, what'd you do with the money? Well, I did what all the business sharks do to avoid getting taxed. I transferred it to an offshore bank account. Richard, what exactly have you done with my... Sorry, our... No, wait, actually, my money. Like I said, I put it offshore. But not before converting it into gold. <laughs> ah! down with my irresistible charm! Hmm. <sighs> We're broke. <laughs> no, wait. We can't afford the water bills now. This is all we got. Drink up. Hey, there might be a less gross solution. We're filming a commercial for Joyful Burger in here later. So? So, you guys are the ideal Joyful Burger family. What do you mean? Not too attractive, not too intelligent, totally dysfunctional. You guys have got it all. And you'll get paid. Where do we sign? No! We're not gonna let ourselves be reduced to some cliches for a quick corporate buck. We're the Watersons, and we don't sell out. What's that? I symbolically burned it, because I'm not allowed to use a real lighter. Wait, are you guys already convinced? I haven't even done my rant about how the little fish got together. They can take a... Now what? The fridge. What? There's nothing in there. Exactly. Where's all the food? Gumball, you're the one who wanted us to keep our dignity and not sell out. This is what happens when you can't buy things. You don't have things. Then why'd you all listen to me? Because no matter how hard it is for me to admit, you are... <laughs> you are... <laughs> Darwin, you tell him it's big and gag. What she's trying to say is you're right. We shouldn't sell out. Funny, I thought victory tastes sweeter. What does it taste of? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like hunger. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Look, we might have run out of food, but we've still got each other. Oh. Hey, hey, let's not panic. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. We've just been kidnapped and we're all wearing blindfolds. <laughs> Stop! It's because we haven't paid the electric bill. There's no power. We may as well just go to bed. Uh. There you go, all tucked up tight. Good night, kids. Night, night Mom! Mom. Don't worry, honey. It's just our stuff getting repossessed. By these low-life, bottom-feeding, undereducated, unhygienic, slimy, no-neck, toxic, triple-chinned, oxygen-wasting, crude, gutless, foul-smelling, buck-tooth, corrupt, felonious, disgraceful, disease-ridden, bow-legged, yellow-bellied, backstabbing, ghoulish, vulgar, despicable, worm-headed, worthless stains! <laughs> I'm only doing my job! Why are you so mean? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Probably going too far. That TV's broken. Is it? It is now. Ma'am? What? Now, we need to rebuild the trust that you lost. On the plate to your right are the cupcakes. On the plate to your left is the bad food, like liver and stuff. What you need to do is trust the other person to feed you the good food. Sure, no problem. Dude, I thought you tricked me. Me too. I expected a mouthful of rat cake or something. I, I always knew I could trust, trust you, buddy. But I, I thought, thought the, the left, left plate, plate was. <laughs> <laughs> and that was for flaking out on me at the supermarket. What? What'd you do? The cupcakes you just ingested released with parasitic eggs. All they needed to hatch was a moist and warm environment. Your stomach. <gasps> What's gonna happen to us? First, they'll eat their way into your stomach lining. What? Then they will crawl up your head and lay eggs in your eyeball. Ah! Get them out! I can see them already! There's only one way to lure them out. Uh, how long do we have to do this for? Until they dance their way out. Uh, there wasn't anything in the cupcakes, was there? Nope, but there's something on the internet now. G give me that phone! <laughs> give it here, Lee! You should take me to your buddies again. That's true, but you're still getting it! <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello, sweetie. I just wanted to know if your dad felt any better. Um, yeah, he's fine. Can you pass me on to him, please? Uh, yeah. One minute. <clears throat> Hello, Mrs. Mom. What's for dinner? Really? Yep. Where is he? Mom must be on her way right now. We're gonna get our butts kicked. Yeah, I would have thought the anesthetics would have made him a better driver. <gasps> oh my gosh, Marvin! <gasps> what has Dad done? Ma, ah, please help me up. I was trying to do sit-ups, but I'm too old. <gasps> hey, what about me? Uh, yeah, you can do it if you believe in yourself. And don't forget to stretch when you finish. Ah. Well, looks like the anesthetics improved his parking, too. This is not funny. We need to find him right now before something terrible happens. <gasps> Look! Dad's pants! <laughs> <laughs> you have to catch me if you want to hit me! <laughs> oh, little teasing <laughs> bundle of fatness. <laughs> sus, 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 Yo, sus, thank you. Sus, He's sus, delicious sus, just the way he is. Stop! It's not funny anymore. It's just weird. <laughs> Radio Elmore. Newsflash, we're receiving reports of a fat, pantless, pink, middle-aged man bunny causing disturbance in the city of Elmore. He's reported to have attacked and nibbled several bystanders. One extremely... <laughs> Come on. And now the weather, Diane. Did you see that? It was Mrs. Mom's car. Right, we've got to split up. Gumball, you sort out the house. Darwin, you try and delay Mom. I'll take care of Dad. Go! And no flaking out! to 
report her stolen yellow family wagon. I didn't do anything. You've got to believe me. We'll see about that, lady. Let's just see those papers first. for coming, Gumball. You look, uh, dressed. I guess you should come in. Oh, uh, well, that's one way to get in the house. <laughs> right. So, what do you want to do today? Today is the funeral. Oh. For Mr. Cuddles, my pet? Oh, thank goodness, I thought it might be a real funeral. <laughs> I mean, pets, pets are great. Like part of the family. So. What happened to him? My dad flushed him down the toilet by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Did it go rounder, rounder, straight down? Straight down. I'm Penny's father. My heart blocked! Right. Come to the backyard. The service is about to start. <sighs> Penny, I'm sorry. I thought this was a date. Why didn't you tell me it was a funeral? I did, in the corridor at school. Do you want to come to my house? It's Mr. Cuddle's funeral. I could use some support from a friend. Gumball, are you even listening? Uh, this Saturday, 4 p.m., it's, it's a date. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Don't worry, I'm still here for you, Penny. Thanks, Gumball. Awesome. Day for remembering those who have left us. Shall we go? Gumball, perhaps you'd like to say a few words about Mr. Cuddles. Um, of, of course. Well, Mr. Cuddles was Penny's pet. Even though I never met him, Penny's pretty hot. So I'm sure he was pretty hot too. Thank you, Gumball. That was really special. My picture! Huh? My sister made a photo tribute so we can all remember Mr. Cuddles. Aw, how thoughtful. Listen, son, I think it's best you leave. I'll, uh, let myself out. Play on, dear. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. Uh, sorry, it's me again. Did I use your bathroom call? It's kind of it's a It's a second on the left upstairs. Thanks. From Glen to Glen. Have a nice funeral. Just get out of here. Oh man, what is wrong with me? She's never going to forgive me for that. I'll spend the rest of my life alone and never find happiness. The spider! Knock his block off! No, wait. But come me back I, I when Mr. summer is on the toilet! Is he trying to say something? The toilet! Look! The toilet! Just ignore him! And why it's snow? <sighs> I guess I'll have to show them. Come here, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good boy, Mr. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off! Ah, ah, ah. Don't look. You're just encouraging. toilet somewhere. Gumball, this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Son, I stand corrected. I thought you were a good-for-nothing young troublemaker, but no. So, if Penny didn't do it, who did? Hmm, it must have been you! I said it was him! <gasps> Why me? Well... Yesterday, you were wandering around when suddenly, at the age of 27, you realized your youth was behind you. Oh. Then all your hair fell out. Bummer. When you saw Principal Brown's lustrous hairy coat, you were overcome with jealousy. Yeah. And acting on impulse, you attacked him. <gasps> you frantically plucked out all of his hair, dyed it the right color, and used it to cover your balding shame. 
and planning to mislead any investigation, you painted Principal Brown, wrapped him in toilet paper, and stuffed him into my locker. The perfect crime. <laughs> Save for one thing. Huh? When you stuck the new hair on your body, there wasn't quite enough, which explains this bald spot on your hand. <gasps> Dude, you've got it all wrong. I got this bald spot when I was cleaning yesterday. You see, I spilt some really strong chemicals on my hand and it burnt off the hair. See? Ah! If that's the case, how come I can just pull your hair right off? Ah! Oh, stop! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, okay then. I guess it wasn't you. Who could it be? All this suspense is making me sweaty. Why don't you just wipe your brow with that toilet paper suspiciously stuck to the bottom of your shoe? <gasps> I can't believe I'm about to say this, buddy, but... It was you! <gasps> yes! Yes! I did it! I'm a monster! A monster! Just lock me up. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> Take me away! I rest my case. But Darwin couldn't have done it! Really? We all saw you on the bus when we went home. Then how do you explain the toilet paper? You've had it on your feet all day, dude. Didn't you notice? Nope. Don't remember any toilet paper. So it wasn't Penny, it wasn't Rocky, and it wasn't Darwin, which leaves us with only one suspect. The only person who knew the combination to the locker Principal Brown was found in. <gasps> you! <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the proof I need! You're coming with me, Watterson! Wait! You're forgetting one bit of crucial evidence! And what's that? I'll just go and get it. He's not coming back, is he? No. No homework for the one who catches him! Yeah! Joe's mom in the reflex challenge. I think you should give her a warning. This was kind of unfair. Heads up! Okay, what you probably want to try is shouting before you throw the can. Good idea! Heads up! Dude, you should have called for more. The can is coming. Let's just give her a point for surviving this. Next up, Tobias's mom. Strength. Oh. <laughs> That's one to me. What? Where'd you think I got my muscles from? Go on, kiss it. <sighs> okay, I'll kiss you. All right, Mom, they've gone now. You can put it down. <laughs> ah, cheating. Round four, agility! Rising up like a queen of the empire. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. Leave the rest in a 
mess by the wayside She's never gonna be pushed around Some kind of mystery She's the best and you best believe it. Bring it on, she can take or leave it. No way. Round 94, Odyssey. She's a mash for the seven wonders. She's the best and you best believe it. Take care of it. Round 143, Intelligence. Strutting. I'm just putting the show in the showdown. Am I wrong? Yeah, this is how you like strut. Round 199, resilience. Fight the fight, the walls will tumble. Don't you see the pride? Coordination. Cuts away. Right? Duck. Compassion. Breaking down the door, she's so much more. Sauce challenge. Mrs. Wilson's up first. Can she stomach a spoonful? Oh, and it's a refusal. What the? And Mrs. Wilson wins. Wait a minute. Did you just wink at your mom, Tobias? No. What? Did you just cheat and swap the hot sauce with ketchup? No. Have you guys seriously been cheating all this time? No. Do you still think it's necessary to deny it? No. Oh, hot sauce. Mm. <gasps> oh, dude, what is that? You've been doing it all morning. <gasps> oh, sneezing. Can't you tell? Not really. You sound like the world's angriest baby. What's wrong with you? My throat is itchy. Achoo. My breath is wheezy. Achoo. My eyes are watering. Achoo. Hmm, sounds like worms. I think you've got worms. Just squat over a bowl of milk and whistle till they come out. No, dude, I think I'm allergic to something. Don't worry, my friend. Whatever it is, we will find it, and we will not rest until we find you a cure, and you will be rid of this terrible affliction! I promise! So? When? Huh? When what? <gasps> Chow! Oh, bad. Well, now I guess. So the symptoms are a weird empty sensation in my stomach, a feeling of lightheadedness and an unusual amount of saliva in my mouth when I think of food. I checked on the internet and apparently it might be something called the G-Virus, which can only be cured by cutting off the infected part or the removal of the brain. Hmm, I'm gonna prescribe two weeks off and a couple of heavy sedatives a day for six weeks. <sighs> No, that's for me. What you just described is called being hungry. Now, for the last time, please get out of my office so I can curl up under my desk and revise my career choices. But I told you, I need... Hi, Dora can't stop speaking. I was here first. I was just about to some medication because I... <laughs> How can I help you? Achoo. Right. Sounds like a simple allergy. Just hold it in and get back to class. Oh, okay. <gasps> Is she right? What she is is a pain in the neck who makes my job a nightmare. If you have a pain in the neck, you should really consult a uh, medical uh, professional uh, because your vertebrae uh, may have slipped out of alignment, which could be a sign of something more serious. Have a nice day. Aren't you supposed to take care of kids who are ill? Have a nice day. But we still don't know what he's allergic to. Have a nice day. I feel like you're trying to tell us something. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'll never know what she was going to say now. What are we going to do? Hmm. We're going to need to find an alternative to traditional medicine. <laughs> Did I hear someone talk about alternative medicine? Alternative medicines are often ridiculed for being a bunch of magic baloney practiced by a gang of almost criminal bozos. But look at me. You can tell right away it is no laughing matter. Yeah, it's definitely a bit sad. So, the plan is to clean your energy by absorbing the toxins with the power of this unbreakable crystal. The power of these two unbreakable crystals. How does that work? I don't know. The magazine this came with went bankrupt after two editions. I'll just, uh, do this. Mm. How does that feel? Good! I think I-
Don't worry, I've got a diploma in the ancient art of acupuncture. Really? Yeah, I bought it on the internet. It came with a scuba diving license and a dog breeding permit. On a pain scale of 1 to 10, this looks like it would score at least, uh... Somebody please finish me off every second of my tragic existence as pure agony. Don't worry. Acupuncture is completely painless. You're right. I can't feel pain. Or anything from the neck down. Yeah, I couldn't remember the exact energy points I needed to strike, so better safe than sorry. But hey, at least it worked. You haven't sneezed for a whole... <laughs> Ugh, I can smell dancing and taste purple. Are there gonna be any more side effects? Lananas enigmatico cuando das un bikini. I'm sorry, what I meant to say was... Oh. Oh, come on, we're supposed to be studying. Dude, stop distracting me! All right, come on, let's get some work done. It's not working. I'm not absorbing any of the knowledge. Okay, no, it's too almost got to do the most tiempo. Be still, you cur. Imbibe that parchment swiftly. On on, we face our trial. Bye, my bye! Elizabethan poetry! Fire and fire again! We've been chewing the wrong books! Uh, we're gonna flunk the test! We'll get caught in a downward spiral of failure! We'll get held back a year and before you know it, we'll be the only kids in seventh grade with beards! Unless... What? We could... What? You know, we could... You know, we could... <laughs> <gasps> what? You mean... Cheating! Did you really think you could get away with this? To be honest, yeah, I thought we could. I have no idea what went wrong. Well, maybe you'll figure it out during spring break, which you're spending in detention! I'm putting you in the long detention block. So from now on, you don't eat, you don't go to the bathroom, you don't speak, you don't even blink unless I say so. Do you understand? What? Can I blink, please? No. Silence, you animals! These are the new inmates. Make sure they feel welcome. Can I blink now? You're not gonna last two minutes in here, little fish. Grandma, can you hear me? Yeah! What do we do? These ugly thugs look like they were raised by hyenas in a post-apocalyptic future. <laughs> Especially the cupcake. She looks like she was made out of rotten eggs and foot fungus. I'm a boy, dork bag. Ugh, even her voice is gross. What? Hang on, how come she can hear our secret thoughts? Cause you're talking out loud, homie. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, oh man. Even my bruises have bruises. Don't worry, buddy. I've got just what you need. A kiss to make it better? No, we need to look older if we want them to respect us. Let's get some tattoos, homeboy. What do you think? I don't know. I think we look a bit too old for young offenders. Maybe. Perfect! <laughs> what are you looking at, punk? <laughs> Stop! His eyes are touching each other! Please, let him go! Enough! Oh, thanks, man. I owe you one. You owe me more than that if you want my protection, Davy. What's a Davy? Detention slang for dumb baby. Oh, I see. Who protect us from? He means who are you going to protect us from? Me. Why does that kid want us to steal the school plans anyway? That's the least of our worries. The guy's a walking time bomb. <laughs> Here, found it! Now let's get out of... What? Dude, <laughs> you have to see this.
You know, there are easier ways to hurt your eyes. You could pour salt in them while you stare at the sun, for example. I'm sorry, Carrie. It's just I promised Anais we'd do something she wanted today. We didn't realize how unbearable it'd be. And we haven't even watched it yet. Come on, we're already late. <laughs> oh, man, we're gonna get the face when we get home. What, this one? No, that's Silent Fury. What we're gonna get is I Know You Let Me Down. Oh. That's it, but don't forget the slow head shake. I can handle that, as long as we don't get the you mean nothing to me back turn. Don't worry. As long as nothing gets in our way, we'll be fine. <laughs> what? Uh, don't you think you should help that guy? You clearly took the cover off. So? You guys are way closer. That means it's your problem. <laughs> Can I get a little help here? Listen, man, we'd love to help, but we're kind of in a hurry. Well, I'm kind of in a manhole. Which you wouldn't be stuck in if you weren't quite so... What, fat? No, what I meant was... Voluptuous, flesh rich, horizontally tall... Distracted! I was going to say distracted. I think you're a beautiful man. Still, what kind of bozo runs around not looking where he's going, blindly texting on his phone? I wasn't texting. I was updating my status so everyone knows I'm jogging. Why? To get those little thumbs up on Elmo Plus. All right, let's get you out of here, you attention hog. Ah! Hey! You're doing the face, aren't you? Why are you late? <laughs> well, funny story, uh, we are helping the guy out of a manhole, and we... No need to lie. It's obvious you guys don't want to watch the movie with me. Oh, no, that's not true. I can't wait to watch. Some princess trying to tame a stupid pony just to impress some foppish prince from Luxembourg! Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's just my brain refuses to let me lie about this film. Just hurry up, okay? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Ah! There. Whose problem is it now? Dude, we need to get home. She's already hit a force five on the guilt trip scale. Gumbo, Darwin! What's up, guys? Hey! Rich? Did you just call me Rich like it was a question? Ha! Did I say Rich? I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm into your name. Which is? <laughs> <laughs> Which is? <sighs> Rob! My name is Rob! Rob! Of course, man. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. We're in a massive hurry, but we should totally hang out soon. I'll, I'll call you, bro. You don't have my number. You don't remember me at all, do you? And this? This is just some hollow promise! Dude, it's not that. We've just been distracted. Because, uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. See that hole? <laughs> Darwin! I can't believe you just did that! Did what? Uh, uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Dad, am I boring? Of course not, sweetie pie. Then why don't Gumball and Darwin want to hang out with me? Uh, uh, think, Richard, think. Your little girl is feeling insecure. This is a real parenting situation. What you say now could affect her for the rest of her life. So say the right thing. Say the right thing. The right thing! What? Speak to your mother! I... I gotta stop, man. Uh, I can't keep running like this. Come on, you can do it. It's all in the mind. Uh, you don't understand. My legs have given up. I even have a cramp in my bones. Your legs haven't given up. You have. You think? You should try walking in my shoes for once. Is that a challenge? In 25 yards, turn left. <gasps> to go to school so you can get a job but why do i need a job so you can earn money continue ahead but why do i need money to buy the stuff the tv makes us want but why do i need to buy stuff because if you didn't buy stuff everyone would be out of a job and no one would have any money wait so i have to work for the rest of my life to pay for stuff that i don't want just so everyone else can suffer the same horrible fate as me exactly <laughs> You just live your life without thinking, don't you? I believe you are underestimating me, son. Turn right. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Come on, surely there's more to life than that. Mm, nope. I'm out of here. Enjoy your pathetic lives working nine to five. Hector, send me to freedom. But at least I'm not a mindless zombie going through life just doing what they tell me to. Who? You know, 
Them. Who's them? You know, the man. What man? The man who tells you what to do. Who? My dad? No, uh, the people who tell you what to watch on TV and stuff. What's a TV? It's a... Hmm. You have reached your destination. <laughs> on the menu today, poulet à la deep fried, accompanied by the fries of the French. Hmm, delicieux. What are the fries of the French? Are you a potato? As sure as the world is flat. Who's that bumpkin? This is Idaho, Gumball's friend from the country. He's going to be staying with us this weekend. Where's your chair? Gumball threw it away. We're getting rid of our possessions to lead a simpler, better life. Ah! What's going on here? It's Idaho. He's going to show us the way. The way to what? The way to ultimate happiness. Is that a theme park? No, it's a free world with no electricity, no cars, no supermarkets, and especially no TV. Not joking, Casey. <sighs> Isn't it better to simply communicate rather than being brainwashed by the TV? Dude, no one said a word for half an hour. Nicole, punish Gumball for being boring. I really want to, but I can't. Gumball is exploring his outlook on society, and it's our job as parents to encourage that, no matter how much we might think it's completely ridiculous! <laughs> So, what do you noble savages do to entertain your tribe? We play rough and tumble. What's that? Come on, I'll show you. Now, the rules is that there's no rules. You wrestle and you make your friend tumble. Wait, so you can, like, punch and stuff? Well, you can try. But I have to warn you, I've never been defeated in Elmore County. Come on. Over a house? I was defending myself! Against what? You're like eight times the size! I panicked, okay? <laughs> Do it again! Do it again! You know what we do when we need to cheer up? We sing songs! <clears throat> Aberdeen and the wheel in the field Potato! Come on, all together now! Aberdeen! Aberdeen. You're very lucky, Mr. Watterson. It appears your skull is so thick you were able to survive a half a ton of tiles and a satellite dish falling in your head. Is he going to be okay, Doctor? Apart from being living proof that we're doomed as a species, he's fine. I just need a signature from whoever's responsible for him. Oh, that would be me. I don't think so. That would be his mother. <laughs> Granny Jojo, what a pleasure. I wish I could say the same, but it seems I have no other choice but to move in and sort out your family, which you are clearly incapable of taking care of. Uh, Doctor, what's the cheapest object in this room? Probably that. That was still worth about $300. <laughs> 
So, Cranny Jojo, why are you staying with us? Because someone has to look after your safety, kid. I think they're perfectly safe with me. Now, look left, then right before you cross that road, Gumball. No, you look right, then left. That way you see the nearest car first. But while you're looking left, something may be coming from the other direction. Look right again, sweetie. No, look left. Look right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Now run. It's better to cross the road as quickly as possible. No! You might trip and fall. Just walk. Oh, don't worry, Billy. It's a really good hospital. <laughs> Dude, I think the board is supposed to jump as well. See? This is exactly the kind of thing I was worried about. How would you know? You're not even tall enough to look out the window. I don't need to. I know how dangerous the world is. Oh, come on. He's wearing all of the protective gear. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, are you stupid? Oh. oh, my gosh, you're right. I'm a terrible mother. Follow me. Corner paddings, socket covers, steer guard. A good mother prevents the incident before it happens. The worst part is that it's working. I... I always thought I was a good mother. But you're not, are you? Maybe it's because of stress or something. Don't worry about it. But they're my family. They need me. They need me more. <gasps> Excuse me, sweetie. I forgot to ask your mom to buy some milk before she left for work. Do you mind running to the store to pick some up? Sure. Good boy. Now you be careful outside. <laughs> yeah, right. Who knows? I might get jumped by a garden gnome. <laughs> Here's the sugar. <laughs> it probably just needs more sugar. <laughs> Like salt. <laughs> That's because I swapped the sugar for the salt. <laughs> it was the greatest prank ever. Okay, you got me. But that's not the greatest prank. This is. Hey, Dad, does this ketchup look funny to you? Hmm, I'll check. But afterwards, don't forget to show me that prank you were talking about. Looks okay to me. <laughs> What'd you do that for? You got ketchup all over me. That was the prank. <laughs> yeah, we did it because it's funny. No, it isn't. It's only funny when it happens to someone else. How could you do this to your own father? <laughs> that wasn't very nice. You two should know better. What? You didn't tell him off for pranking us. You know it's too late for your father. I want you two to apologize by the time I get back. Do you think Mr. Dad would be okay? Nah, he probably forgot about it already. Hello, children. Hey, hey Dad. Dad. Why don't you try on these lovely new shoes? This is a prank, isn't it? What? Pr prank? What? Me prank you? Right? No! <laughs> no! I would like to return these shoes, please. Unfortunately, sir, you seem to have filled them with baked beans. I did nothing of the sort, sir! Well, I'm sure you wouldn't mind putting them on and taking a walk to prove it, huh? And I'm sure I wouldn't mind either. <laughs> on second thought, I think I shall keep them. I happen to have grown quite attached to them. Welcome to Pranks for Beginners. Over the next 30 minutes... 30 minutes?! That's two subs, a muffin, and a tub of ice cream. Oh, and I better get a sausage for the last 19 seconds. Mm. Mental note. Next time, take food for the journey back as well. Step one. Go out onto the roof of the house. Step two. Take off all of your clothes. <laughs> Step three.
said that you are a ballerina while repeatedly slapping yourself in the face. <laughs> Dude, this cannot be real. I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! Step five. Realize you've just been pranked. Step six. Try and fit down the chimney head first. <laughs> He's been up all night trying to find a way to get back at us. Yep, he's definitely out cold. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mr. and Mrs. Watterson, I called you in today to discuss concerns regarding your daughter Anais. Judging by this alarming painting, you, madam, are suffering from work-related stress. You, sir, are not a good role model, and these two children are clearly lacking in discipline. <laughs> when I look at this painting, I see a family that a family that has problems. Principal Brown, if I may interrupt... Oh, don't worry, sweetie. It's not your fault. It's your fault! I'm sorry, Princess Cheesecake. The sausage fairy made me do it. Sweetie, I had no idea we were such a terrible family. <laughs> please, please! Anyway, for the good of your family, I've drawn up a recovery schedule to get you back on track. <laughs> I'll make it short. You, madam, need to stop working and relax. Your husband needs to stop relaxing and work. As for you, Gumball and Darwin, <laughs> you'll be spending the day with Mr. Small, the school counselor, to channel your energy in a less destructive way. Well, Principal, we'd be happy to try anything if you think it's going to help Anais. Can I just say something? You don't need to, uh. sweetie. We're all going to get better. Right, boys? Uh-huh. I said, right, boys? Yes. Of course, honey. What did I just agree to? You gotta get a job. No! Well, thank you, Principal Brown. We'll do our best. Uh, Mr. Water. Welcome to my five-step program for undisciplined children. Step one, primal scream. What's that? It's when you channel all your rage into a violent vocal release, like this. Ah! You guys try it. Uh, I don't think I have any rage. Me neither. Everyone has anger, Gumball. Just look inside yourself and find it. Inside? Yes, hang, Uh, no, nothing at all. Try it anyway. Okay. <gasps> oh, you could do better than that. <gasps> okay, Darwin, your turn. Take a deep breath and let it all out. <gasps> Okay, Nicole, relax. It's for the good of my daughter, so I'm just going to sit and do nothing. Oh, this is going to be hard. So, how about those FK reports that Simon drew up? Oh yeah, I was reading them in the bathroom. Ha, too much information, Charlie. <laughs> 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 I think you're the best employee we ever had at Chanax Incorporated. Here's the key to the executive washroom. <gasps> no way. Way, way, way. Well, all I have to do is make that dream come true and I'll be fine. I'll do it for you, my little girl. And need that key to the executive washroom. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
She thinks she's so dumb. Well, I'll show her who's the dumbest in the whole town. Then Dad will be mine again. More. <laughs> See, I gathered the stupidest people in town. Word. Everyone has to wear a blindfold and run as fast as they can. The person who gets the furthest is officially the dumbest. Dad, you'll be the referee. Okay, guys. I want a good, clean race. Anyone opening their eyes is disqualified. On your mark, get set, wait for it, go! Ugh, I can't resist the call of dumbness. <laughs> <laughs> You might have won, Dad, sis, but I'm not going to let you win this! What do you mean, one, Dad? <laughs> I'm winning, I'm winning! I'm not winning! Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? <laughs> <laughs> Mama? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a banana split. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? I'm okay. Oh, Kara, this is just the perfect day. I was wondering. Yes, Lawrence? Will you marry me? This is happening so fast. I'm, oh, I'm not saying no. Definitely not saying no. <sighs> but I need to think about this. <gasps> You've taken my place at home, and I'm taking it back. Are you kidding, Gumball? I just wanted to be dumb for a day. No one could be dumber than you. Wow. That's a really nice thing to say. I kind of feel awkward now. Should we just hug? Oh, sh yeah, okay. Ah! Whoa! That was close. I think we got dumped ourselves. Let's go home. Ow! 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 Huh? Oh, the eyes! I blew it! Hello, I'm Dr. Butt, and I'm going to take your temperature. Dad, I can't play Butt Puppet right now. <sighs> I was only trying to help. Ugh, this is all your fault, Richard. Well, as referee, I took every precaution I could. And six kids ended up in the hospital. Four Rocky and Mir grown-ups. Word. And you, Gumball Watterson, that was a very dumb thing to do. Aw, thanks. <sighs> and as for you, young lady, I expected more. I know, Mom. I don't think I want to be dumb anymore. Because it hurts so bad! And all this because you guys wanted to be my favorite, when we all know, in fact, that Darwin is my favorite. Fish! My favorite fish! Wait a minute. Where, Where is, is Darwin? Darwin? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? I really like this song, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it off then. Uh, but I really like that song. <laughs> oh, no problem. Listen to the song then. Uh, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> Let's just have breakfast. <laughs> There's too much food in the fridge, and the milk is at the back. But the back is cold. Breakfast! <laughs> It's okay. Dad made us breakfast. Uh -huh. Use the sausage for the eyebrows instead of the mouth so my breakfast face looks mildly alarmed instead of smiley. Okay, can we stop with the bad vibes, please? You're turning my milk sour. Uh, you don't understand my pain, so don't judge my life, okay? <laughs> Let's just watch some TV. Uh, the remote is too far from the couch. No problem! I'll get it. Gumball looks sad today. What shall we do? I know. We should go and buy this poor privileged kid an incredible surprise present. So you can have something new to gripe about. Okay! 
Really? Is everyone in this family immune to sarcasm? Ah, I love this game, but I don't have the patience to get into the story. <laughs> ah, I pressed my tongue too many. Now we have to go through that whole dialogue again. Then you happy now. You put me in a bad mood too. Ah, you're setting the couch on fire. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> 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 Let's get out of here, run out of things to moan about. Ugh, dude, your new sneakers are too bright. They're burning my retina. Dude, you're making me foot conscious. Come on, help me dirty them up. Dirtier. A little more. A little more. Ugh, too dirty. Ugh, ugh. Thanks a lot, now I'm naked. Oh, you're so moany. Just wear these. Oh, now I look like I bought my feet from a grocery store. Now I feel overdressed next to you. That was my favorite sweater. Oh! Hey guys, are you okay? You look really uh, waterproof. Oh, life is horrible, man. What's wrong? What is not wrong? I'm starving, I'm wearing rags, I'm... Shh. Say no more. I can see the pain in your eyes. These two! Ah, they might need this as well. And this. Please take this. And these. And this. Oh! And this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need that kidney. Maybe. Oh, I always knew you guys had problems, but I never realized how bad it was. Have you eaten today, son? No, I haven't, but it's because. Eat. Oh! I think there's a misunderstanding here. Pride is important, but sometimes you have to accept the health of others. <laughs> no, sir, you don't understand. Swallow your pride and eat! <gasps> okay, okay. He's so grateful he's got tears in his eyes. Here you go, kid. It's not much, but it'll help. People, please! Seriously, we're not poor! Of course you're not. You're richer than all of us. In here. That's not your heart, is it? Sorry, I'm a vegetable. I don't really know how you people work. Trust me, guys, we're fine. It's not like we're on the streets or anything. Although, technically, we kind of are, since Dad took the car and left. <gasps> I always knew he was a bad parent. His big, happy, fat, evil face, uh -huh. his sinister dimples, and those beady, doe eyes. So what do you think will make him happiest? A go-kart or a real pony? Why not buy the whole store? It only comes to a billion dollars. Oh, okay. Was that sarcasm again? Yes, so do you get it now? Yeah! Are you lying? Yeah. Mom, instead of milk, can we have chocolate milk? No. Instead of eggs, can we have chocolate eggs? No. Instead of bread, can we have chocolate bread? No. <sighs> Richard, can I get a little help here, please? Sure. Here, kids, stop bothering your mother and eat this chocolate. <sighs> dragging us here if we're not getting some kind of treat. Because we're having a nice family outing, and that should be reward enough. Uh, Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm under I'm sorry, little sausage, but you've had too much candy this week. <laughs> now all the little sausages are punished and going to have to wait in the car. This is the face she's going to get when she comes back. <gasps> yeah, pretty good. But this is how you do a sulky face. <laughs> it's all in the detail. It would be better if it dropped. No problem. <laughs> I can't believe we wasted a day at the mall without getting anything. You know what we should do? We should make full-size paper models of ourselves, set the car on fire, and push it off a cliff to teach Mom a lesson. Uh, I think I have a better, less horrific idea. Customer announcement. As part of our campaign, Huggy Bites are offering a lifetime supply of jelly beans for the first man to hug the blue lady in aisle three. Huh? Huggy Bites. More love than you can chew. Get your head off her! That's my wife! <gasps> if anyone 
one should win those huggy bites, it's me! Hey! What is going on here? <gasps> Please don't tell! <gasps> You should be ashamed of yourselves. What would your poor mother think about this kind of behavior? What would it take to make all this go away? 80-20. And throw in some huggy bites as well for tricking me and those poor customers. <gasps> That's it. I'm telling Mrs. Mom, we came up with this really clever idea to get candy behind your back. Then Mr. Dad got us and now he wants a bag of gummy bits. And it's back to the car. Your children deserve a better example. You need to grow up. Don't forget your appointment at the cardiologist. Boring! Huh. Discipline. I'm not a punisher, I'm a fun! Uh, sure, and she's not the boss of me. Have you ever told her this? Uh, yeah, lots of times in my head. What about to her face? Nah, kids, she'd snap me like a twig. Okay, I think we need to work on this. Let's go through it one last time. Who are you? I'm the man. And what does man do? Whatever the heck he wants. And why? Because I'm a beautiful, powerful animal. Then let me hear you roar. <laughs> now suck that gut in. <gasps> Tense those pecs. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel? Fantastic. Good. Now go and get us some candy. Hey, woman. You're going to listen to me and you're going to listen good. I'm calling the shots now. <laughs> Hey, you listen to the man when he's talking! Who is this Principal Brown? You are. Oh, ah, uh, yes. We're going to call the cops and tell them we won't release you until our demands are met. Make the call, Mr. Rainbow. I thought we were going to disguise my voice. Um... <sighs> All right. <laughs> We have taken control of the school bus, and you better do what we say, or there'll be consequences. Oh, sorry. Or oh, there'll be consequences. Oh, come on, Alan. You're telling me you don't even recognize the balloon? Wait, I do recognize him. Yeah? I saw him in our house last night. Yeah? On TV. Elmore's Most Wanted. <sighs> it's just our parents trying to teach us a lesson. Like when my dad tried to teach us the dangers of texting while walking. Help me! I put it down this manhole because I was texting while walking. Darwin, you can't seriously be scared of these guys. Of course I am. They're criminal masterminds. I just think it would be fun. I've never been in a hovercraft. No, we should ask for a private jet. They always ask for a private jet. Could it be a private hovercraft? We need to ask for money. How much? It doesn't matter. The police know this is all fake. See? They're not scary. You're right. We just need a leader to reason with. Someone brave. <clears throat> Someone who's not afraid to look the enemy in the eye. <clears throat> Someone who laughs in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you, Gumball, but you're obviously sick. Maybe less. No, me! I'll do it! Oh, but hovercrafts are... Hmm? Uh, Dad? It's Mr. Pink. Fine, Mr. Pink. I know it's you, Dad. Uh... I've never heard of this dad of whom you speak. I'm just a criminal. How did I become a criminal, you ask? I didn't ask. I suppose it all started when I was 11 years old and skipped a math class. Uh-huh. And for this crime, the punishment was harsh and swift. I spent 12 years in juvie, then five years inside, then 24 years on the run, then 30 years back in the big house, then a further seven in solitary. That makes you 89. It doesn't add up. Well, I wouldn't know, because I skipped that math class. Sure. So, I assume you all ended up in a life of crime through skipping school? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my tragic story starts on the right side of the tracks, but boy, it sure doesn't stay there. Yeah, yeah, we get it. But I learned the whole thing. Don't I get to... Oh... See, I told you, it's a load of hooey. Take the wheel and get me closer. 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 We are willing... Okay, too close. We are willing to meet your demands. I'll throw the money over in three, two, one. <laughs> that one's gonna hurt the taxpayer. Control, we need another million dollars. They doubled their demands? Uh, uh, yeah, they doubled their demands. Uh. Wow, we're really going big on this. If only they responded this fast to real crimes. Where do you want the money? Leave the million dollops of unmasked bulls on the cold desert toad. What? Oh, sorry. Autocorrect. Leave the million dollars of unmarked bills on the old desert road. Our units fall back ahead of second dropout. Any sign of him, Chief? I'm calling.
cooking out here. They're on their way. Make the drop. Okay, you hold on to me, and I'll reach out and grab the briefcase. Maybe we should switch. Did you get it? Okay, we have the money. Now, we don't want to see any red lights between here and the airport. They're heading for the airport. We gotta take them down. First, we gotta get you out of here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you sure about this? Don't worry, you're in safe hands. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Ah! Ah! Enough! I'm not sure what he sees in that woman. But anyway. Come on, Mr. Robinson. Let's show her you still got it. Okay, now go ballistic. I can't, kids. I'm not that man anymore. Then we'll do it for you. Hey, you! Mr. Robinson's wife! Come and have an argument with him! I mean, me! We're gonna have a fight and you're gonna like it! Ha! How do you like my arguing, huh? So angry I am! Wanna make out? <laughs> oh, you made it worse. I didn't think it was possible, but you made it worse. <laughs> ah, the ghost! He's about to attack the children! Yourself, ghost of Mr. Robinson. Hey, what's up, neighbor? I've had enough of this family. Your tacky lifestyle, your ugly house, your cheap garden shed. I'll smash it to pieces. <laughs> It's more solid than I thought. But this is what I do to your unfashionable deck chairs! And as for your crummy thrift store vacuum cleaner, buy cheap! Buy twice! And this is what I think of your two dollar clip on tie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Welcome back, Mr. Robinson. Robinson! Thanks. So, since we saved your marriage and everything, I guess that makes us best friends forever. So can we call you Gaylord instead of Mr. Robinson? Don't push it, kid. Now, take me home, woman. <laughs> What's that all about? Well, there never was a ghost, Dad. It was Mr. Robinson. We hit him in the attic. No. I mean, what's wrong with our house? Our shed and my tie. <sighs> Dad, you know what I do when I feel like a loser? I look at this. Yeah. <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> Who does he think he is anyway? Two dollar clip on tie. At least I know how to treat my wife. <laughs> What went on here? It all happened so fast. First of all, Darwin got angry because he thought he deserved a sunny cloud for winning some dodgeball game. Yeah, I remember that. And then Anais flipped out because Mom won't share top spot on the chart. What? Anais too? And when Mom put your face on the sun, I trashed the house. I got a son. Wait a minute, you trashed the house? Darn right! And I'll do it again if she doesn't give me a star for my cheese crayon! Hmm. 
Not bad. <laughs> Feels good to win, doesn't it? Uh, no it doesn't! Your chart is ruining this family! They're all behaving like animals! I mean, hello? We were all happy before! Do you even realize what you're doing to us? That's right. Use your anger. Because you're going to need it for our little family outing tomorrow. Why? What's happening tomorrow? Okay, people, first one to capture the flag wins. You get hit, you're out. Oh, this is great. Hey, both crazy people. I'll be in the car. What have I got to do to get you to show a little competitive spirit? Okay, I'll play. But only if you tear down that stupid chart. Oh, I'll tear down that chart. If you win. All right, you're on. But please, everyone, this is a family outing. So let's play fair and try to have a little fun, okay? Great. like other people's faces. What happened? Uh, I didn't even see her. See who, Dad? Your mother. too late for me. You're the only one who could save this family from insanity. I saw the flag from the tree just over that hill. No! <laughs> no! Just go! Just go. <laughs> Ticket. Oh, man, really? I'm sorry, but that's law, kid. Crime is a slippery slope. If I turn a blind eye on the smallest misdemeanor, before you know it, the whole society falls apart. Especially in this heat. Well, I understand you're a cop. I mean, it's obviously not your job to be cool. What do you mean, not cool? All kids think cops are cool. Mm, not really. Yeah, we're more into privileged rap stars who pretend to be hardcore. That is ridiculous. Cops are cool. That's what I wanted to be when I was a kid. Okay, get in the car. I'll show you. Hold on. What are you doing? We're just pretending to be handcuffed. Sorry, I just don't want anyone to think we're friends with you. I want my phone call! Do you mind pushing my hand down? There's no jail that can hold me! Just get in. Mother, think it you the heat that drove those two poor urchins to crime? No, dear. It's public school. Dude, can you scratch my nose? <laughs> You're not handcuffed, and he doesn't have a nose. Oh, yeah, right. Uh... So, what's so cool about being a cop? Well, I file a lot of reports, I write parking tickets, I stop for lunch, I give some people directions, I file some more reports, I write some parking tickets, I make a report on all the reports I file. 
Sorry, you were so boring and we thought the car was moving and, uh, didn't expect to have to explain it. Uh, uh please continue. <sighs> Help me out here, guys. What do I have to do to prove to you that cops are cool? to have a good time. All you have to do is... Ah, uh, shoot! They're coming back down! Let's bail! Oh, <laughs> well, wait! You forgot to drive through the boxes! Oh, yeah! I always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so what other cool stuff can you do? I can commandeer any vehicle I want. Any vehicle? Anything. I guess I can't complain. It is a spaceship. I can make it more interesting. How? <laughs> Wishes. Wow, I forgot you guys had those. What else can you do with them? Wow. Finest risking their lives to protect our freedom. That's the sound of law enforcement! That's the sound of law enforcement! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I take it all back. Cops are cool! Yeah, that was really fun. Was? What do you mean, was? We're just getting started! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Dude, look at your car. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's not a problem. For a cop! Stop! I commandeer this vehicle! <laughs> and that, sir, is exactly why I need to wear a seatbelt. Come on, guy. Get in the car. Uh, this doesn't feel right. In the name of the law, get in the car! <laughs> Help, police! <laughs> ah, false alarm. We did the best we could. Oh! That's not so bad. We found this tube of glue stuck to your, uh... Anyway, in future, you need to be more careful. This tube was covered in holes. But it wasn't when I lent it to Gumbo. Hmm. 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 Oh, come on! I can understand the glue, but why the glitter? It's like putting lipstick on a skeleton. It doesn't make it any nicer. Eh, you were right. We should have let that pen stuff slide. about that much. Take that, you banana. Oh, look! A pen! And it's not chewed! What else can we do to it? Attention, please, could come on. Darwin Watterson, please come to Mr. Small's office. Thank you very much. Any conflict can be resolved with these three tools. The mirror reminds us that an enemy is just ourselves, but seen from another angle. The water reminds us that we all have something in common. And the hourglass is the time we need to reach an understanding. Ha, ha, ha. 
I didn't chew your pen, honestly, but I bought you a new one because I myself have a pen of great sentimental value. <laughs> it's not a fountain pen, is it? Actually, yes, it is. <coughs> it's the pen that Obadiah Banana, the founder of our family, used to sign the registry when he first came to this country. <coughs> it was a very expensive pen. I'm not even going to tell you where he had to hide it to keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose my mind if anyone chewed on that pen. Anyway, please accept this new pen and let's be friends again. <gasps> Dude, we have to get to his locker before he sees what we've done. Thank you, we gotta go now, bye. One minute. Thank you for a beautiful resolution. Banana Joe, you can go. I just need to fill out your hall pass, guys. Oh, that's a funny name, isn't it? Uh, do you spell it with two or three L's? Two. Two L's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just put one. Dude, you could have just put another one at the end. Of course. A silly old hippie. I'll do another one. I'll wait them all out. Uh, I'll have to print one. Come on. Huh? Just print it, please. Yeah, sure. Here it is. Hold reliable. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Just let us go, okay? You seem a little stressed up, guys. You want to try my herbal infusion? It's very good for the nerve. You should be happy to be young. Before you know it, you'll be overweight, unattractive, balding, middle-aged. Take over breakfast. I don't want you to see me like this. What's his problem? Eh, you never know with that guy. Come on, let's have breakfast. Man, what a pile of beans. <gasps> Dude, watch your language. You'll get us in trouble. Well, I'm sorry, Darwin, but it is. It's a big, steaming pile of beans. <gasps> Gumball, look! A shooting star! This is our chance. Make a wish. I wish I was a grown-up. Me too. Nah, that didn't work at all. Ow! Baker! Oh, darn kids, what do y'all think you're doing? Today's lesson will be about the transformations of the human body. As you get older, hormones begin to change your appearance. Here. It's me as an adult talking to my secretary over the intercom. It's me voting. Awesome. Passing notes, are we? No, Miss Simeon. Well, what? what's this? Uh, that's us as adults? I guess you're on topic then. Anyway, pimples? Ew. My aunt! Actually, it's pretty gross. You may continue. Ew. Pimples, or acne, can pop up at any time. Dude, what's that on your face? What? What? That! What? It looks like a greasy yellow egg. No, no, actually, it's more like a small volcano with a sweaty golf ball. Do something! Do something! Okay, okay, hold on. Let me just... Uh... <sighs> I think we're gonna need more little hats. Ah! Just relax, dude! That's easy for you to say! Why don't you have any? <laughs> just lucky, I guess. Ah! Ah! I think that's all of them. Uh, what's happening to us? I think we've got the plague. Do you have any other symptoms? My top lip feels a little silky. Next comes the appearance of hair on the body and face. <laughs> that dude, you look like an undercover cop. <laughs> Stop laughing! Do something! Okay. I see mom do this all the time. I don't doubt on one occasion. Uh. <sighs> that feels so much better. Don't worry, dude. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. You look like a baby werewolf. No, not me. It was better when it was just you. Uh, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but this is the girls' toilet. Uh, yeah, sorry. We gotta sort this out. Start chewing. Okay, settle down. Everyone get into your team for dodgeball. Oh, no, not dodgeball. You're going down. <clears throat> you get the idea. Please, not above the shoulder. Ah! Oh! <laughs>
is such a gluteous Maximus. Hey, Bobber, what you doing? I'm on the internet, the largest source of knowledge in the world. Why don't you get connected? Uh, hi, hello, is that the internet? <sighs> you need to click the icon. <laughs> you need to click the icon. Which one is the icon? Dude, it's the only thing on the screen. I knew that. I had to reboot you. Oh, come on. There's gotta be something in his library making people smart. This is such a great book. I'd like to borrow this book, please. Book, 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 book. book. That's it. They're all watching books. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. Hey, shh. I think my book is broken. I've been watching it for ages and I'm still not smart. You don't watch books, you read them. Shh. People are trying to work. Okay, Brain, let's get reading. <gasps> Once upon a time. That's it, I'm out of here. I've had enough, I'm off to watch TV. Hey, where do you think you're going? I didn't sign up for this, I quit. You can't quit. There's no way I'm gonna pass a test without a brain. Please, I need you. We'll never pass. I'm stupid. Then, then I'm going to make you smart, like Darwin. Uh, sir, you appear to have a bit of ink on your face. Are you sure there's nothing else you want, honey? Ask for anything. Well, uh, can I have two cans of soda? Quick, Richard, the fridge. <laughs> Oh, and some jelly beans, but only the yellow ones. Okay. Uh, are you sure there's nothing else to wear, Mrs. Watterson? Please, honey, you can call us Mom and Dad. <laughs> Read it! I can't. Read it. so difficult. That don't make me... Aren't you tired of being so useless? Years and years of insults and abuse. Remember. You people! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Then prove it. <laughs> this may take a while. I was a feeble minded guy. I'd slip on ice and wonder why. So many obstacles were thrown my way On a downward slide each and every day But something popped inside my brain I got up to fight that fight again And I knew what to do I went through the mental pain You gotta think big, think deep Pretty soon you'll make that quantum leap Think big, think smart Make your brain your finest body part The greatest mind from yesterday Will it crush the dust cause I'm on my way You gotta think big Because if you don't, then that happens Is this boring? What's this? You think this is boring? Call me boring now! This is boring! Close the window, Margaret Freeze, police! Well, um, I think I'll uh, call it a day. I'm not boring! What did he say? Gumbo, what do we do? We have to stop him! I got it! We'll just fly after him using one of your witch brooms.
brooms. That's a normal broomstick. I'm a cleaning lady. Oh. The witchy ones are over there. I knew it. How you doing? Pretty good. Oh, what the? Oh, do we really have to be this high? Yes. We need to be close to his head so he'll hear the music box and fall asleep. I'm not boring. I'm not boring. <laughs> Behind. For the record, before we go on, I'd like to apologize. Nah, don't sweat it, kid. Now I'll try to calm him down. You take the music box. Here. Ah, uh, just go get it. We'll lead him somewhere safer. Okay, how do you stop this thing? I never said that. <laughs> okay. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm fine. <sighs> right. Well, Anais looks like we found someone as socially awkward as you. Uh, why don't you guys try and be friends? Go on. Come on, guys. Make an effort. Make eye contact. Come on. Come on. I said eye contact with him! Eh, I don't have to do it. Now let's try a smile. Like this. Ah. More teeth. We need more teeth. Uh, good. You don't want to make friends with a straight jacket. Let's move on to making small talk. Demonstration! Oh, hi. Oh, I love your hair. What's your secret? Metal pattern hair loss with the sprinkle of stress. So, who do you know here? Oh, I'm Anais's brother. Really? Me too. She's so weird looking, right? Yeah, she's like a garden gnome who got her head transplanted from an Easter Island statue. <laughs> <laughs> we both like that fun at the detriment of others. We should totally be friends. All right, your turn. Uh... Come on, say something. Uh, I like hair. Oh. Uh, here. 
have some. <laughs> oh, uh, you have some hair too. <clears throat> oh, uh, uh, here. I'm pretty sure that's not how you make friends. Put it back on. Okay, you weirdos, just say hi and shake hands. Hello. Hi. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. No, no, wait! Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Stop it, Tickles! <laughs> it's hard to know how to feel about this. On the one hand, it's aww, but on the other hand, it's... <laughs> it doesn't matter. I made a friend. Which means it's time to party! No more residents are reporting a series of break-ins across the neighborhood with... Hey, kids, you all right? Yeah, we're just playing with our imaginary friends. Well, he better leave me some cupcakes. Don't worry, he only eats hair. Well, he better leave me some of that, too. I've been saving his face in my stomach. Right here. I mean, right here. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Shh, this looks important. Who is said to be over seven feet tall. Now just hold still. Good. Okay, and go. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay, no harm done. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 Inside and make another pinata. I'm sure the last one made some kids in the South Pole very happy. And now an update on the terrifying intruder who is breaking into Elmore Homes. Here is a police sketch based on eyewitness reports. Um, guys, I think it would be better if you played inside today. There's a. If we give them a minute, everything will calm down. No, let me in there! Let me in there! Sorry, ma'am, but this is a police matter. We're professionals. You can trust us. Okay, let me see. Where's the index police negotiation? Police. Is that one word or two? You know how some people say police. Hey, chill out. It's only a game. I don't understand, man. I've never done this far before. Look how much I'm sweating. Stop it! You'll electrocute yourself. Beat the final boss, man. I'm weak. You're not weak. You just lack upper body strength, lower body strength, and mental strength. Slap me. Harder. Ow. Softer. Okay, maybe somewhere in between. That was exactly right. Come on, you can win this by the power of Fortan Mushy. You win. Dude, what's the point in learning all these combos if all you need is button mashing? Who cares? Oh, man. It's only three letters in the top score. Mm, what do I go with, gum or ball? Maybe go with the least dumb sounding. You're right, let's go with ball. No, wait, why don't you use your real name instead of your nickname? Great idea! Wait, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What kind of guy doesn't know his own name? You don't know it either, do you? Nah. Then this shall be my quest. I will find out that name. I will stop at nothing. I will leave no stone unturned. I will climb the highest mountain, explore every island, search every cave. I will question every man, woman, and animal. Fight a bear if I have to. I'll wear shorts. I'll milk a fish. I'll shave a baby. Climb a rainbow. No, that would be ridiculous. But I will, like an owl. I will wrestle a senior citizen in jello. I'll kick a crab in the face. I'll steal a watch from a ghost. I'll eat a beard. I'll marinate a plumber. And when they write about me in history books, they will say, he did what had to be done to find out his real name. Your real name? It's Zack. 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 Who's Zack? I am. Oh. Gumbo's called Zack now. So? Yeah, good point. Hey, coach! Great game last night! You're not in the team, Water said. Go out more ducks! Carrie, I think we really nailed that song last night. We're totally gonna win the Battle of the Bands, man. You're not in a band. I'm not in a band. I bet you can even give me the name of a band. Yeah, like Germany. Woo! Hey, that's my cousin. 
Already? Yeah, and you spent the whole day with one eyebrow raised behaving like a horrible jock. Are you all right? Oh, Zach is fine. Are you sure? Because Zach is kind of digesting part of an apple kid's face right now. That's because Zach does what he wants. Sorry, but who exactly is this Zach? I thought it'd be like Gumball, but with a shorter name. No! Gumball's a loser. Zach is the man. Zach doesn't ask. He takes. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Zach doesn't have to explain himself. I guess he smells so good. Zach! Listen to me. Zach doesn't listen. He hears. That's the same thing. Oh, wait, what was that? I'm afraid I can't listen to you. What? <sighs> oh, walk with me. See, Zach doesn't wait for doors to open. He punches right through them. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. See, here's another example. Zach doesn't waste his time. He goes straight to the point. <laughs> Make way, <laughs> losers! <laughs> I'm more important than you! Oh, Mom, stop embarrassing me! Oh, it burns! <laughs> My eyes! What was that? Uh, I don't know, paint? <laughs> what was that? Uh, chlorine from the pool? <laughs> what was that? Uh, fertilizer? <laughs> oh, I guess it's all right then. But that's still two hours of detention for potentially damaging my beautiful face. Really, Principal Brown, you need to be firmer huh? than that. Oh, uh, okay. Four hours detention. Eight hours? Mm, good. See you in detention, Watterson. Mom, you're not helping. think you look like a dodecadork with your mom at school. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a 12-sided dork, honey. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. Mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Come on, honey, open the tunnel for the choo-choo train. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Tina thing was kind of helpful, but this has gone too far. Wait a minute. I... Uh, thanks. No, seriously, I need you to stop meddling with my life. I'm not meddling, I'm helping. Helping by meddling. You're just a big meddler. I'm not a meddler. I'm your mother. And a meddler. <laughs> hey, isn't that the girl you like? Mom, no! Uh, excuse me, Penny. Have you got a second? Sure, but you guys will need to be quick. The cheerleader tryouts are about to start. Mom, if you love me, please don't do this. Oh, come on, Gummy Puss. Don't be shy. My baby has something to say to you. <gasps> no, I don't. He'd like to take you out on a date. Uh, that's not true. He loves you. Really? No, I don't! I don't love Penny, and I never will! Gumball? Well... Thanks for being honest with me. No, wait! I meant I'll never love peanuts! No, ponies! <laughs> See what you did? You upset Penny! How am I supposed to get her back? Well, you know, I could help you with That's that. That's enough, okay? That's enough! I'm my own man now. I make my own decisions, and I don't need you babying me any more. Any more. Uh, thanks. Now just go home, okay? Oh, come on. We all had a great time, didn't we, Darwin? To be honest, I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why are you smiling then? Well, at first I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but now I'm just stuck. I beg of you, just get out of my life. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. She's gone. I'll never smell again. Darwin! Mom, you're back! Yay! Do you know where your brother is? In the changing room. Thanks. Gumball, it's me. Open the door. No! No, I won't! What happened? Oh, it's awful! I made a decision on my own and it was bad. Listen, whatever it is you've done, you need to come out and face it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm coming out. Oh, 
Oh, you were going to try and get closer to Penny by joining her cheer team, but now you feel embarrassed because you have to wear a skirt. What? No! I'm going to beat Penny at her own game so she'll realize how awesome and manly I am. Then she'll definitely want to date me. Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is me! What if I'm not as good as the other girls? What if they laugh at me? And this leotard makes me look fat, so I put this skirt on to hide my butt. <laughs> 24 hours? Oh, this is horrible! All the things I wanted to do in my life! All my plans! Ruined! Ruined! <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. 24 hours is actually quite a long time. Hey, you're right. I mean, how many minutes are there in an hour? Like, 60? So, that's like 60 times 24, which is... Three billion seconds! That's like ages! Well, we've got to make every second count. You know, Darwin, I've never asked you, but what do you want to do with your life? What are your hopes and dreams? Who is Darwin Watterson? Well, I guess what makes me happy is helping other people who are less fortunate than ourselves due to circumstances beyond their control. So I'd like to start a charity for... Where are you going? Dude, I don't think the end of the world is time to get charitable. And besides, you're getting kind of boring. I think we'd be better off doing some of the things I want to do. Help. Darwin, what are we doing here? Learning cards, so we can get a career, a home, and feed our children in the future. Darwin, there is no future. We need to make the most of it right now, not listen to some baboon drone on about algebra. Oh, gumbo. This is biology. Oh, who cares? It won't matter in 24 hours. Kiss me, Penny. <coughs> I've got a surprise for you today, children. A surprise test! <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you. I'm not gonna do the test because it's the end of the world and nothing matters anymore. Not even this! <gasps> How's that for a surprise? So come on, everybody. Let's turn our last day on Earth into the biggest party ever! Okay, on second thoughts, spending three hours in detention wasn't the best use of our time. Ugh, I'm gonna be late for my wedding now. Wedding? Yes, Darwin, my wedding. By the power of the banana, it is my duty to ask if there's anyone here who sees any reason why Gumbo and Penny should not be joined in marriage. Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Actually, I've got more than one reason. Firstly, I'm 12, and so are you. Secondly, you didn't even propose to me. You're just trying to marry me in the school corridor. Hey, guys. Happy wedding. And finally, this is not a wedding ring. It's a bagel. But you know what? That shouldn't stop you from asking me again in 20 years. <gasps> but you don't have 20 years. Shh. I love her too much to let her know the truth. Hey, want to get married? Gumball, why do you have a perm? It's just something I've always wanted to do. So, Mom, under normal circumstances, how long do you reckon I'm going to live for? Well, your grandfather lived to be 102, so I wouldn't worry, sweetie. Hmm, that's at least 90 more birthday presents. Mom, I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I want to combine all of my birthday presents into one manageable lump present. So can I have a pony after dinner? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. Do you want a tutu with that? <laughs> if I get you a pony, you'd get bored of it in a day. Not an issue. Okay, I'll get you a pony. Thank you, finally. As soon as your father starts laying golden eggs. I haven't given up yet. <sighs> I thought there was going to be a cake or something. This surprise is going to be better than a cake. I'm giving you reconciliation with your father. Oh, man. I should have known it was something lame like that. Nobody invites people to eat cake in a junkyard. Go on, tell me your plan, then. It's simple. We get picked up by that magnet and get dropped into Rat Rapture. What? Are you insane? And I've got Dak to come and rescue us. What? Are you insane? Don't worry. I can stop it at any time with this remote. Oh, I thought you were relying on Dad there for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> oh, great job! What are we gonna do now? It's okay. Here's Dad now. He can stop you from that control box. 
Job he's doing so far. You are so insensitive. Would it really hurt you to encourage him once in a while? You can encourage a clam to read all you want, but that's not going to get it into college. People have limits, and Dad reached his own a long time ago. Don't worry, kids. I have an idea. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. Glad you guys made up. Come on, dinner's ready. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna wear this anymore. Why? I thought it brought you good luck. Yeah, it does, but nothing's fun anymore. See, watch this. Whoa! Whoa. Ta-da! Whoop the boring dude. What are you talking about? That was fit flapping fantastic! Yeah, a week ago maybe, but now it's just lame. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Don't throw it out! I could really use some luck right now. I've been trying to get on Win or Don't Win for five months, but they're not returning my calls. You're never gonna get on that show, Hat or No Hat. <gasps> There's a show called Hat or No Hat? Look, you want it, you have it. Hello? Would I? <gasps> Tomorrow? Oh, thank you, Win or Don't Win! Wow! This hat is amazing! Okay, guys, as impressive as all this is, let's not get carried away. There's no way a tinfoil hat is responsible for... Richard, what are you... Hello? Interview. Tomorrow? For a promotion and a pay rise? What was that? That was the sound of doom for the Watersons. <laughs> Do you ever miss your helmet? No, why? Well, everyone seems to be using it for really cool stuff, like dad with the TV show or mom with her job. All you ever did was lame party tricks. It doesn't matter, Darwin. I'm happy to see the back of it. Succeeding at everything really took the joy out of life. Besides, sometimes in life, you make your own luck. It's so good to fail again. 
You see, you take a pinch of success, a dash of failure, you mix it together, and that's what makes life interesting. See? That wasn't so bad. You just blew up the ant farm. No, 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 ah, ah, ah. It's okay! Ah, life is great, Darwin! Ah, ah, ow, ow. So you're saying you're happy when you fail? Absolutely. It's a struggle that makes a victory sweet. Besides, I still got it. Butter side down, just like poor Uncle Eddie. What do you know? My lunch is on the floor. Hey, who's the funny guy who did that? And you know what the best thing about failure is, Darwin? Well, is that it builds your sense of humor. <laughs> to get the promotion, which is more important than a game show. But if I win the show, I'll get a speedboat. Think about how great it would be for me. Richard, you'll never use it. Nicole, if I win a speedboat, I'm gonna use it. You have to understand, I'm doing this for the greater good. Winning the speedboat would be good for you, but not for the rest of the family. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, Nicole. I, I don't know what came over me. It's okay, just where did you hide the helmet? It's in this bag. Oh. Mm. No, wait! Actually, it's in. It's in this one. I was gonna trick you. I'm sorry. I guess that helmet's got more power over me than I thought. Thanks for being honest, honey. Don't worry! You'll never see me. Best friend. you from afar, hunched in your closet, or strapped beneath your car. I treasured all the stories the three of us share. Wherever you are, I'll always be there. When you were alone, I was there too, behind the shower curtain that you never knew. I dressed in your clothes and poised in your air. I washed you both sleep and nuzzled your hair. It helps that your bedroom has places to hide, and the windows don't lock, so I can get inside. I've waited so long to be a part of your life. to have a reasonable conversation with this young lady. Where is she? We've been looking for two hours now. Oh, man. Not good. You okay, Mr. Small? Oh, oh. Why are you looking at that painting like that? Oh, thank Mother Earth. You can see it, too. working out. Yeah, it's not you, it's us. By which we mean it's you. Wait, don't you want to see what's inside my locker? Is this another one of your tricks? Why would we want to see inside your locker? Because this is the part of the story where you realize maybe I do all this. Because I'm lonely. No, Sarah. This is the part of the story where you realize there is no story, and you leave us alone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, look at this. The first people who spoke to me at Elmore Junior High. And this, the coolest kids in school. Gumball and Darwin. The only people who really know me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know, right? I'm definitely! 
way taller than you. And if my eyes were that close together, I'd be a cyclops. No, she really cares about us. And we just pushed her away. Look at this. The amazing adventures of Gumball, Darwin, and Sarah. Oh, man. All she ever wanted was to be included. This, this is today. Here's us at lunchtime. Uh, yeah. Look at that hand. It's like a big thumb. Well, hands are difficult to draw. Here's us watching the video. And here's Sarah walking off just a second ago. I wonder what happens next. Mm, well, whatever it is, hope she goes to art school. No, you say, we're her only friends. We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. We're her only friends? We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy! <gasps> right, how do we do it? It's all right here. be alone. It's all right, guys. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do, Sarah! I have been touched by the beauty of your art. And now, I think I love you. No! You cannot love her, for I love her more. She's beautiful and yellow and runny and funny. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. We are Elmore Junior High. Six, seven, Woo Right next to my heart, baby. Dude, what are you doing? What's the problem? Can't the guy celebrate when his cheerleader girlfriend lands an amazing flip on a beautiful sunny day? Okay, I don't know what kind of reality you're living in, but first of all, this isn't a sunny day. Secondly, that move went wrong, and you cheer. I face planted so hard I've got grass on my tonsils. Well, someone found it entertaining. And finally, she's not your girlfriend. What? Well, then how come she blew me this kiss? That's ketchup. You just smeared it all over yourself. What the? What's going on? What's going on is you've dragged me here to eat my lunch in the rain so you can gawk at Penny like you do every day, even though you guys aren't even boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like a swollen traffic cone. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm not saying it won't happen, but right now, you've got some competition. Come on now, let's get you back inside. Who, Leslie? <laughs> no, they're just friends. Oh, Leslie, what would I do without you? And that's how it starts. Soon, he'll be our boyfriend, and you'll be history. No, it's not like that. He's a nice guy. No, he's not, and I'm gonna put an end to this right now. <laughs> going on. They're just eating lunch and chatting. What do you think they're saying? So how do you like my stupid pink petals and my fat yellow face? Oh, I'm so pleased you liked it. I use it to steal girls from people. Who are you talking about? Gumball's jealous of Leslie. <laughs> Leslie? Why? Because he's trying to steal my girl! You know, you should seriously consider becoming a carnivore. Why? Because before it ends up on your plate, this is what they do to vegetables! Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not sure bologna's such a good option, though. At least I'm not eating my own kind. You do realize that as a peanut, you are part of uh -huh. the vegetable family. And you know some of these carrots are grown in such appalling yeah. conditions. They're dug off, they're all right, mm -hmm. they're washed in cold water. <laughs> Curse this feeble body. You should work out more. Gumbo, what is yeah. wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Hanging out with this loser instead of me. Come on, Leslie. Let's get out of here. I don't get... Betty, I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Shut up. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, you insecure weirdo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to take care of this myself. Wow. I know. I've never seen him like this before. And the case is solved. Commissioner Brown, arrest this man. What are you talking about? The case of the stolen trophy, which I have just found in his conveniently open locker. Principal Brown, I think it's pretty obvious what's happened here. He did it. <laughs> uh, um, see you later. Huh? What? What's going on? Uh, 
what's going on is that we're about to open your locker and find a crowbar. Uh, okay. Dude, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? What have you made me do now? She can stay, but... Oh, thank you! You're such a kind and friendly family! You know, I've never had friends before. I don't even know what friends do. Don't worry. We'll show you. Now, a very important part of friendship is sharing. Imagine you both have ice creams. Oh! But what's this? Darwin has dropped his ice cream. I said, Darwin has dropped his ice cream. <laughs> you got it on my shoes. And do you want to share mine? Very good. Ice cream, Darwin! Oh, thanks! But Gumball, you don't have an ice cream. Want to share mine? Sure. Oh. Dude, this is so gross. Why don't you pretend you have your own ice cream? Ugh. Why didn't I think of that? Friends also high five. Like this. High five! Okay, now it's. Your... No, I meant slap my. Let's move on to the next lesson. How about we all play a game, like friends do? Here's one we made up. It's called Dodge or Dare! Dare. Roll the dice. Take a card. What'd, What'd you get? Put a gooey hairball in Miss Simeon's lunch. Huh. Let me take that. Pick another. When Miss Simeon's back is turned. <laughs> Actually, let me pick one for you. Uh, Come with Simeon slug juice. Drop water balloons on Simeon. Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon. <laughs> Forget the cards. Here's a dare. Make the most annoying noise possible. <laughs> okay. That was good. Good, but we know that you can do better. Like when you're mad at us. Oh, you mean this little thing? Gumbo! That was awesome! High five! That still needs a little work. I've got my eye on you, Simeon. <laughs> do it again, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased to finally have such great friends! Ah, we, we love, love you, Miss Simeon. Simeon. Sorry, kids. Miss Simeon, can I have a word with you in private, please? Yes, Nicole, how can I help you? Listen, Simeon, you might have the rest of them fooled, but I don't trust you for a second. I remember you from school. I remember the horrible name you used to call me every day. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry. What? I was that horrid person for so long. And look where it got me. No friends, no family, just bitterness and wrinkles. But even an old ape can change. Will you give me that chance? Oh, I don't know. It's all happening so fast. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll give it another shot. What do we do now, best friends? Ah, uh, let's see. I know! Best friends write letters to each other about how great they are! Wow, what a friendly idea. What shall we write? Uh, how about we the aforementioned unanimously agree that Miss Simeon is worthy of this year's favorite teacher award? Favorite teacher award. Okay, done it! <laughs> it's mine! she is. That's the power of friendship. Final level. One life left. It is time for the combo breaker. Three, two, one. Co 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 combo breaker! I should probably get that. Leave it, dude. Focus! If we lose here, we'll have to start the whole game again. And I can't go through that. But what if it's important? That! That is important! Oh, it'll just take a second. Darwin, no, don't do it, man! Darwin, please don't do this to me! Just a little second. I'm getting a clap in the pond! How do you spell low? J E R K. Dude, 
Texting is for phones. We use real words when we talk with our mouths. It's the phone! I was texting in the library and Mr. Small confiscated it! You have to get it back! I'm sorry, Darwin, but maybe it's for the best. <laughs> OMG, OMG. Dude, what do you want me to do? I'm a coward. I'm not gonna break school rules. All right. You're calling closed bracket. What's up? talk. Uh, yeah. You know, I love you, man. Uh-huh. But I think you have a problem with that phone. Yeah. So I've arranged for your butt to be surgically grafted onto your face. Yeah. Yeah, sure, great. You're not even listening! Why don't you text me? Ah! Oh, give me it! Ah! Give me it! Give me it! Look at what this thing has done to you! Your right fin is worn down to a stump from all that texting! Ah! The left side of your head is burning from all that radiation! Ah! And worst of all, your tail has fallen off! What? Seriously? No, I just added that for dramatic effect. But you get the point! This has to stop! Mm. I'm sorry, but Darwin isn't available right now, or ever again. Please, get a life, stop texting, and never call again after the beep! Beep! You're right. Ocho and I are phone addicts. Please don't tell me that was Ocho I just spoke to. Who do you think was calling me all the time? You mind me again exactly why we're at school on a Saturday? Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet gumball, but behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole, welcome back. <laughs> <sighs> Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm Let me stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be you orc? No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you better or save our snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's got to be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! <laughs> You're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! <laughs> so, how graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh, has anyone 
anyone see in my trunks? Yeah! Touchdown! Oh, roar! Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right up there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So, do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. Is the game over? Yeah, we lost. Uh oh. What? Ah! 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 <sighs> oh, why doesn't anyone want me in their club? It can't have anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. Well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> Who did this? Those kids! I'm gonna get them for this! Come out! Stop calling the killer! Oh, no. They know we wrecked the car. What do you mean you wrecked the car? <laughs> Dad? Hi. Daisy, Daisy the donkey. Mom, why are the Robinsons talking to the sheriff on the lawn? I don't know, sweetie. I think we'll just go around the back. I'll tell you, sheriff, it was those kids next door, as sure as I... What? We just touched it with the sponge and it fell apart. So we decided to hide here forever. <laughs> Such a sad story. But it's not true. You see, it was 9 o'clock this morning and... <laughs> Come on, Electrofat. Make me beautiful! Whoa! Ah! 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 Oh, Mr. Robinson's new car. Oh, okay. It's just a dink. I'll bang it out. <clears throat> this may take a while. There! Finished! Ah! <laughs> So you see, it was my fault, not yours. What should we do now? Well, I think the most responsible thing to do is to hide here forever and never let your mother find out what happened. I already know. Ah! Honey? But it's not quite what you think. It was 9 o'clock this morning and... Wait, can I do this? Yay. Put the tape on, Mom. Yes, honey. Donkey. Where is Donkey. it? Here. Yay. They parked right in front of our lawn. I just didn't see it. I was about to tell Mr. Robinson, but... Horrible mother. <sighs> so, we went to see the show. And it was great! So there, it was mostly my fault. I'm so relieved. It was a family effort. Darn it! I know they're up there! Get in there and arrest those vandals! I know without a warrant, sir. Ah! I pay my taxes, and that pays your salary. Ergo, I'm your boss. Now get in there and do your job. Please, sir, calm down. All right. I suppose I shall have to take matters into my own hands, huh? Well, here come the Robinsons. Poor Mr. Robinson. We wrecked his beautiful new car, and nobody has the courtesy to apologize. We should be ashamed of ourselves. So let's get out there and apologize, as a family. <sighs> okay. 
This is what happens when you mess with Gaylord. This is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens. They look kind of angry, Gumball. Please stop. Please. Please, ma'am, drop the duster. Please. No, ma'am. No. No. Ah! Ah! We should give them time to calm down. So, uh, do you want to press charges? Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sure they learned their lesson. It's too bad you have to live next to such monsters. Don't worry, Mr. Robinson. We'll look after your house while you're gone. <laughs> such a great guy. Well, there's one important thing we learned today. Huh? That electro-fat machine was worth every penny. Darwin! Where do you think you're going? Uh, buy some stuff? At the shop? What are you doing? He's your son! <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. From now on, I'll always be there for you. <laughs> Darwin, I think he's ready for his first steps. Wait! Go ahead. Come on, don't be shy. Come to Daddy. Aw, he's kind of got my eyes. Don't you think? <laughs> ah! I got my chocolate too! Dude, if what babies do is just suckling. It's not suckling, it's baby! Okay, relax. He's just playing. He'll come off on his own. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> his teeth are sinking in! Okay, that's enough! Bad baby! Stop mauling your father and get back! In your jar, this it's <laughs> ah, he's got my dad. I know what it is. He must be hungry. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't like fruits, vegetables, or cereal, but it does like pigeons, rats, raccoons, seagulls, and the mailman's butt. What was all that noise? What are you two up? Cha! What is that thing? It's our baby. What are you talking about? Where did you find it? It came out of the microwave. Are you sure it didn't come out of the toilet? It's disgusting. They always look a bit funny when they're just born. He's actually very advanced for his age. You should have seen him catch that seagull. What? You let that monster out? Look, I was trying to be nice here, but you better stop insulting our child or I don't know what I'll do. It's not a child. And what is it doing in my high chair? <gasps> don't listen to her, Kenneth. She's just jealous. You called it Kenneth? Baby needs a name. Look, like it or not, you're Kenneth's aunt. Now, we're gonna buy more pigeon traps. You babysit. Are you crazy? Where do you think you're... Ugh. I guess you're kind of ugly cute. What kind of animal are you? Wow, those are pretty pointy teeth. What the... <laughs> Kenneth, we're home! Oh, what a mess. Where's the knife? Yeah, I knew she'd bail. Gumball, has Kenneth grown? Grown into a troublemaker? This place is a mess. Naughty Kenneth. Parcel for the water sheds. Did Kenneth just eat the mailman? Oh, no, no, no. That's not possible. Not my Kenneth. Well, where is he then? What do I know, mailing? I'm more worried about Kenneth. Does it look to you like he's gaining weight? I'm more worried about his attitude. This boy needs discipline. <sighs> I think we need parental advice. So, um, we're doing this school project. Uh-huh. And uh, we've got to look after this uh, gross dog thing. I'm with you. And we need your help disciplining it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Kind of like children, actually. The first thing you have to do is let it know you're the pack leader. So, you look them in the eyes and tell them firmly you're the boss. Now, you've been a naughty doggy. Dad, he's got your finger. Well, that's to be expected, son. The best thing to do is to remain calm and reassert your authority. Yeah, but it seems to be eating your arm. <laughs> it's just testing its boundaries. The worst you can do is give it attention for negative behavior. I have always found that a positive reinforcement approach is the best way to be. Dad! Guinness eating Dad! We'll save them later! Ah! Can we be of a 
assistance in helping you to your vehicle? So, what does your car look like? It's made of metal. <laughs> right, I thought it would be. Okay, what else? It has a steering wheel. <laughs> okay. It's quite long. Good, good, that's useful. Could you be more precise? It smells like damp laundry and despair. Confusing. Oh, it's got a lady on the side selling shampoo, and it's usually parked right there. It's the bus, isn't it? Sure is! And I suckered you into giving me a lift! <laughs> Enough with the parking lot. Let's just find a space. Any space. There'll be more than... My friends, we have achieved total parking. Day. But that's okay, because it's nothing a good song won't fix. When life hands you lemons, you gotta make some lemonade. <gasps> Darwin, stop it already. It's getting embarrassing. Come on! How's it going? Ah, oh, it's great. Except for the fact that this is turning out to be the worst day of my life! It's like I'm cursed or something. Watterson, this school has a dress code. These rags are obscene. Get to Lost and Found. They'll provide you with something more suitable. But Principal Brown... Uh -huh. <sighs> there you go. Much better. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, dude, but this isn't a department store, you know. Oh, Rocky, there's got to be something else. You're in luck! Oh, well, you and I sell those weak lemons. 
Eh, people think I'm a fruit, but I'm also classified as an herb. <gasps> what? <laughs> Where did you get your clothes? Lost and found? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I did. Oh. Uh, hey, where did you get your clothes? The circus? <laughs> Dude, we kind of just went over this already. Lost and found. Oh. Hey, where did you get your clothes? The swim shop and the hat shop? <laughs> <laughs> where did you get your brain from? The dollar store? Seven hours detention for hurting my feelings. What? But... I'll see you after school. Fine. Ow! Oh, paper cut! Uh, Gumball, are you okay? Everything's great, Darwin. Everything's just peachy. Oh, okay. Darwin, don't take everything I say so literally. Okay. What about what you just said now? Should I take that literally? Uh, no. Yes. No. I don't know. <laughs> Talk to me. I think I'm cursed. Hmm. Then what you need is a good luck charm. Guys, there are no such things as lucky charms, curses, or tickets falling from the sky. There must be a scientific explanation for what's happening to Gumball, like there is for everything. Oh, yeah? How does your science explain the magic of rainbows, then? Huh? Diffraction of light through moisture in the atmosphere. It's a sad world you live in. Come on, Gumball. Darwin? How will I know if it's a four-leaf clover? Simple. They've got four leaves, and they're extremely rare. Rare? They're one in a million. Rarer than the rarest found one. Top of the morning to you. Ooh. I can already feel my luck changing. Hey, look, a lucky vote. <laughs>